Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another video. In this video I'll compare four different kinds of LED bulbs. The first uh, one here is the older type which has a lot of individual LEDs. This I presume would have the uh, lowest output. Uh, one thing to note with LED bulbs or LEDs in general is that the light output is very very focused uh, So that's why they have put a design here where it has a 360 degree spread uh, in order to try to um, Spread the uh, the output as as uh, as much uh, Or in a similar way as a halogen bulb would do This bulb by the way, I only received one of them for this type uh, here, the second one, uh, we have some LEDs on the side and one of two at the ends. Then we move uh, up to the Cree LEDs, which have uh, which have a, a higher light output, uh, and because of this, they also gener generate more heat, and that's why they have the heat sink uh, behind the the socket. You can see here that they are. These two are fan cooled, so there is this, you can see the fan there, it actually goes around. Uh, compared to the two before, uh, this has one LED on each side, so it will give a roughly uh, 180 degree spread uh, depending on which, which of the two are turned on. Uh, this bulb here has kind of the same idea, um, but it uh, gives a, a supposedly Supposedly a better light spread. It also uses a fan to cool it. This here is just a standard uh, H4 halogen bulb. You can see on the uh, right hand side that's the low beam and the coil on the uh, left hand that's the high beam. So there is a small cap behind the, uh, the low beam. For sake of comparison, I'll start with fitting the uh, halogen bulb so we can see how the light output is and also how the light spread is when the uh, bulb is fitted into the reflector. Like I mentioned just before, uh, the LEDs have a very focused output and this is this one of the things or issues that uh, is with uh, putting a LED bulb into a halogen reflector. Here we go, with a bit of magic the uh, bulb is suddenly in the car. Um, it doesn't really look that impressive here. Uh, and mainly why it doesn't look so bright is because the output is focused down on the road. As you can see here, there is a pretty good cutoff. Uh, so you have the uh, light below and then you have a darker area on top. If we go ahead and activate the high beam, you can see it changes pretty rapidly. Now, one thing to note when we start to get the bulbs in the uh, in the headlights and we do the first picture like we did before, when you see the car from the front, you will likely see that the LEDs look a lot brighter. And that is mainly or partly due to the fact that the light spread is, uh, is very different and often wrong, you could say, and focuses a lot more on the oncoming traffic uh, above the cutoff line. So what I experienced with this bulb in particular is that it didn't work with the low beam of the car. It worked fine with the high beam, but it didn't work with the low beam. There we go, that's the parking light, low beam, no low beam on the LED, I don't know whether it's a fault or what it is, and here we have the high beam, and you can see that the brightness uh, from an oncoming traffic point of view looks somewhat uh, the same, that's good. 
if we have a walk around, still no uh, particular uh, glare from the LED, which is uh, still good. You can kind of get the feeling here that uh, the brightness of the LED is not that uh, not up to the to the brightness of the uh, halogen bulb. If I just uh, quickly turn around here, uh, which I don't, but I will in a bit. Here we go. You can almost not see the output from the LED. That's very disappointing. So if I stand in front of the halogen, uh, you can uh, better see the LED because the camera adjusts to the brightness. Okay, so that's definitely really disappointing for the first one. Let's uh, jump to the next one. We'll just start with having the bulb in free and uh, free air, and then I'll uh, turn it on. Nice and bright white, bluish output. Very cool. I don't know if you can see it, but the output kind of goes a bit up and down. And that uh, was also something that it did in real life, that not something to do with the camera. So that is uh, disappointing as well. Also, there was kind of no difference between the low beam and the high beam in terms of uh, output. Let's go ahead and get in the car. So this is the low beam on both. And it looks from this angle like the LED is brighter. But let's see when we get it from another view. So immediately here we see that the LED seems to make a lot of output to the left hand on the gate. And from the front here, it looks all right. If we just spin around in a bit. Here we go. Do you remember the cutoff that we saw when we only had the two halogen bulbs in? That was kind of what we were aiming to get here as well. But now we have like a big cone of light uh, focused all over the place down there. And that's not really good because then that means that we get a lot of glare into oncoming traffic. Uh, so we do not really get any more uh, much more light on the road, but we get a lot of glare on the oncoming traffic. So for that bulb as well, that's uh, disappointing. Now let's move on to the uh, Cree LEDs. Now these have a lot uh, higher output, but they also have uh, a lot, uh, a lot more focused output. So you can see we have a LED on each side here. So that means we can expect we will light up uh, around uh, 180 degrees at a time. Here you can clearly see that the one side, this is the main beam by the way, so, oh, your low, low beam. Uh, so you can clearly see that one side is turned off and then the other one is on. Uh, and that uh, will get really interesting when it gets mounted inside the bulb and see how the, that is, uh, affects the spread. So that's the high beam flash. It actually is a bit, uh, has a bit of a cool down to it. Uh, and that was a bit unexpected because usually LEDs either turn on or off. Uh, but this fades down a bit.
but as you can see the output itself doesn't really uh, that's really good here we go you immediately see that this uh, LED looks a lot brighter than the other one or oh, sorry than the halogen on the other side this is the high beam uh, which I did by the way flash on the uh, bulb before that but there was such a small difference between uh, low beam and high beam that you couldn't see it so now we see uh, it has a great output but once again the uh, focus is really all over the place you don't have any kind of sharp cutoff like you have on the halogen bulb and that's really really not good because that means you will yeah glare a lot of oncoming traffic this uh, was like we just saw before it's only either side uh, one side is on and or both for, for high beam and that that looks really interesting uh, when when inside the reflector. So let's try the high beam. I mean the output itself uh, is really good so I would just wish that the focus was uh, much similar to the halogen bulb uh, because in the state that it was there you can't really use it uh, in my opinion let's try the last one uh, same same kind of bulb as just before uh, it had just have uh, supposedly a, a better light spread but let's try it so this is the low beam, high beam. So it uses the same principle that it turns uh, either side on or off. So we have four LEDs in total. These two uh, are off when you have the low beam. And if we swing around. Here we have the fan. That's also a thing to note. Uh, if you are thinking of mounting these permanently in your car, you need to be able to fit the entire assembly within your, your housing. And if you have a totally enclosed house, uh, housing, you could run into problems with the heat. Now these bulbs here, they were not cheap. They were kind of expensive. I'll put the links in the description uh, to all the to all the vendors. Um, it definitely feels like a, a premium product, uh, but let's see how the performance is when it gets mounted in the car. So here we are. It looks uh, like a lot of light, uh, but then the cutoff is really off again. You can see you just have a big bowl of uh, light casted all over the place. So even though the out output is good, uh, the focus is uh, way off. And that's kind of a, kind of a shame because then we get towards the conclusion. Uh, and that has uh, been disappointing for all, all the bulbs. I mean, the first ones were really, really poor quality. And then as we stepped up the, uh, the pricing, uh, the products got uh, better quality. But I don't know if it's, if it's due to bad engineering that these particular bulbs, uh, I've tried a lot of different uh, and other ones too, and they all had the same problem with the, with focus. So um, it's probably not down to, to bad engineering, but more down to the nature of uh, how the LED uh, works. 
uh, with which is such a focused uh, output. Now I did do some driving shots as well uh, with some recordings from my dash cam uh, which uh, the installation by the way you can check out in uh, one of my other videos. So this you can see here on the wall you can kind of sense the, uh, the cutoff from the halogen bulb. So on the right hand we have the halogen and on the left hand we have the LED. Uh, so the LED casts a lot of light onto the road close to the vehicle uh, but then as it gets further away it kind of distorts more uh, and the halogen bulb actually uh, performs better over a, a long distance. So we'll just take a tour around here so you can see uh, the output on different surfaces. And here I just turned on the high beam and the low beam. Uh, you can see the fog light turning on uh, down on the road when I turn the steering wheel. Uh, I know that is kind of a, a bit distracting. I don't know if you can sense it, but there is a camera standing there, and uh, we'll switch to that recording afterwards. So we have the low beam on here, high beams. High beam on a short distance looks pretty similar. So the LED, uh, the output from that kind of spreads like the, the uh, normal uh, high beam uh, halogen. So here we go, this is the same clip as we, <coughs> clip as we just saw before. With the high beam flash there. Okay, so I think I'll try to wrap it up here. So, the conclusion is that it, uh, it looks good from the outside and it also looks good from the inside, but the, the annoyance of the, uh, or the brightness or the glare to the oncoming traffic, that's really, really unsafe and it's really not recommendable. Um, so for now, with these four types, which were, I think is a really good rep representation of what you can actually get, I cannot uh, recommend any of them. I mean, it would, you would be much better off uh, with buying a high power halogen bulb, which perhaps have some coating on the outside, um, which would make it a lot you know, brighter so you don't get the, the very yellow uh, halogen look. All right, thanks uh, for watching and um, I hope you uh, stay tuned for more videos in the future.